A monster week of earnings for tech this week with Alphabet set to report tomorrow after the bell. But Google's dominance in search might now be under some pressure as new AI-powered search startups begin cropping up. Our Deirdre Bosa has that in today's Tech Check. Hey, Dee. Hey, Carl. Good morning. So Google search, let's be real, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. But hanging over every earnings quarter over the last year or so, basically since ChatGPT exploded onto the scene, is this existential question. Can Google innovate fast enough in the age of generative AI, or is Gen AI the first notable threat to search in decades? So that is front and center again when Alphabet reports tomorrow. B of A writes, with AI positioning as the top debate on the stock, we see 2024 as a crucial year for Google, which could help establish it as either an AI leader or at risk for further search erosion. Now, further search erosion, that'll be tough. This is what the market for search engines has looked like over the past year. Even a Microsoft ChatGPT-powered Bing search engine has barely dented Google's dominance. And others, like DuckDuckGo, which offers better privacy controls, they have been unsuccessful. But there is a new crop of Gen AI native upstarts making a run at the king. That means that they've been developed and built in this age of Gen AI. Neither They wouldn't register either on a market share chart, but they are reimagining search as a whole. We've talked about perplexity, backed by the likes of Jeff Bezos and NVIDIA. Another one is ARC, which released ARC Search over the weekend. We tried it out this morning, searching Paris Olympics as an example. Here it is, reading six web pages and then neatly laying out dates, host city, new sports, among some of the other facts. No ads and a pretty clean user interface. Let's also show you a traditional Google search on a smartphone. Smartphone. You've got at the top a list of Twitter or X accounts and a lot of the same information when you scroll down, but it is notably more cluttered and harder to find. Now, Google's generative AI experimental search, which is available for some users, it does give you a much cleaner response, similar to that of ARCs and perplexities. But the point is that Google isn't willing to go all in yet and potentially cannibalize its business, its search business, before it figures out how to incorporate advertising, its golden goose. So the street is expecting Google to report $65.8 billion in ad revenue this past quarter, and that is nearly 80% of total sales. So that alone tells you how important it is. And as Microsoft is putting some hard numbers on its AI product co-pilot, investors, they're going to want the same from Google. TBD, if we get it, we do have the the most advanced version of Gemini coming out, which could be interesting. But Google still has kind of a prove it case, has to prove it to Wall Street.